You hunting them? And then you just throw it in the, you throw it in the back of the truck and eat it for dinner. I'm imagining the first time. His name was Zerna. Is that defamation? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Steamy Meme Monday show with Michael and Patch, uh, where we take your advice and your questions and we try to decipher it and give you the best advice that we possibly can. We're trusted sources. I'm Michael, uh, and uh, you know, I just know all the answers. What about you, Patch? You do. I think you said it wrong. It's not the best advice. It's pretty much the worst advice possible, but it's still advice. But it's the best advice that you can get on public access radio, especially from Georgia Southern University, our esteemed employer. Give us money, please. Thank you. That's fair. That's fair. I think that's a good assessment of our situation. Right. So um, just to give introductions, uh, uh, we are both film majors. Uh, yes. I am about to graduate. Patch just joined in. Uh, Patch, what do, what do you what do you want to do? I'm only here for the memes. I'm only here for the memes too. Actually, this podcast, the Steamy Meme Monday, uh, or radio show, you know, we haven't really decided yet because we're both indecisive people. Um, <laughs> I think it's really just here to make donation money from like a GoFundMe, and we're yeah. gonna pretend that we have like yeah. really terrible diseases just to get money. Honestly, I just want a little bit of spending money so that I can go home and see my family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It would be nice to get a little bit of dough so that I could like get reimbursed for a camera that I just bought. But yeah, I want to make that bread with all that dough. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Is that why they call it making all that bread? I guess so. I guess so. Bring I, home the bread. That's I think not we, really caught on, has it? No, I think it's a it's an underground meme. Like getting all that bread. <laughs> not really many people say it, and it's definitely not ran through the ground. It's no. definitely not underground. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> so I guess we just solved the big question yes. is where does bread come from why are we here why are we here it's bread yeah. we're here for bread, bread. and uh, uh, if you don't like gluten well sorry uh, I guess this isn't the show for you I guess if you are gluten intolerant you can leave uh, so let's get to this first question okay alright cool um, so this question comes from Aniston Fields who is a film major I'd like to give a quick shout out to my boy Paul Gibson out in the St. Louis misery alright what what's the question say oh well I'd like to first first go back to your, your friend in misery oh. uh, Paul Gibson uh, I really like his guitars I think he did a really good job with them he really did yeah, yeah. Uh, what's his like licensing deal with all those guitars do they like uh well he's recently bought them and sold them on ebay okay so okay. he is no longer licensed to use it for free so you're saying that he sold the rights to gibson guitars on, on, eBay. on ebay yes that's a not most tactical decision <laughs> um, I would kind of vote in the opposite direction. If there are shareholders for Gibson, they're all like, I'm sorry, you you, you, you did what? <laughs> and she said his name was Paul Gibson. That is his name, yes. Paul, Paul comes into the, the shareholder meeting and he's like, well, I just wasn't really feeling it anymore. So I sold all my shares on eBay. <laughs> Paul, oh my no. goodness, you can't. Paul, this no. This isn't what that's for. Paul, Paul, eBay. He got like $7 out of it, though, so it was worth it. I think that's pretty worth it. He, he had like, like a 51% sh- share of Gibson oh, yeah. guitars and sold them for $7 <laughs> on eBay. They were worth They were worth $4,700,000, <laughs> which is not a real number. It's just made up by Paul Weird Gibson in Missouri. He I, told me that he bought some Chicken McNuggets with that money, so I think it went to a worthy cause. I think that's pretty worthy. I love that weird pink chicken paste that McDonald's has got going on. All right, with that, without further, let's questions time. Let's questions time. Let's do questions. Okay, first one comes from Aniston Fields uh, at, here at Georgia Southern, um, and she asks... Why is Waluigi the most amazing character in any video game? There's also, there's also, also, why is he not included in Smash? Mm. Also, why is Fabio Waluigi the most amazing character? Mm -hmm. Um, And if I could pull up a picture of Fabio Waluigi for you, 
Yeah, uh, and for the viewing the, audience. For the viewing audience. And we'll whenever we send this in, we'll send it like as a video, as this winky dinky little video. And yeah. uh you will get to see Fabio Waluigi with us at the same because I've never seen Fabio Waluigi. Right. Um I don't know what this is gonna be. And I'm not really too excited about um, it. Um okay, they're all just Waluigi. Okay. Okay. Um Fabio Waluigi. <laughs> Picks. I'm so nervous for this. Um, it's just a lot of oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like this. Is it just like fan art? It is just fan art. But I don't know what Fabio will eat. Fabio. It's just Fabio with. Oh. With Luigi. Okay. Okay. That's fine. All right. So Annie. Aniston, we don't really know. Oh, and then here's just Waluigi with... Nope. <laughs> it's Connor Rince's favorite meme. <laughs> Why do they have Lazy Town and Waluigi? I don't want to know. <laughs> what is Waluigi it? and Fallout 4? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> is that like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so let's get back to this question. Patch, Patch, why is Waluigi the best character in any video game? Well, I mean, you've got to ask the question of, like, what constitutes a bad character in a video game? I I mean, I guess we got to broach that subject. So, like, a bad character, what's a bad character? And, and it, do, do we mean, like, a bad... Like I mean, a, like, Birdo. Like, who has ever thought to themselves in their right mind? I don't even know who, the, who exactly. Birdo is. Who is Birdo? So Birdo is on this, uh, the Wii version of Mario Kart, right? Okay. Okay. And I'm like, I've never heard of Birdo outside of this, and don't really plan on hearing of it. Right. You know? Right. So, as you pull up a picture, I'm not really sure that you're ready for this. Is it just Bird with an, oh my it, no, god. No, it looks like a pink... Like a pink aardvark, but... The, here's Birdo doing a T-pose with a wedding ring. Okay, that's her fine. her husband is adventurous. Right. Uh, definitely, definitely just kind of throwing it out there. It, it looks like it's looking for a big kiss. And yes. I don't want to give it. No. I definitely want to stay far away from Birdo. Yes. So Birdo is a bad character. Yes. We've established yes. Birdo is a bad character. So what makes Waluigi, Waluigi good? Good. Good. Over, uh, well, first, doesn't have the whole, like, well, black hole thing going on in his face. That's pretty cool. Yes. That, I that's would nice. say that's a perk. That's a good one. And he's, he's just so personifiable. Right. You can, like, you see people walking down the street, and they're... They're like they're just Waluigi, of course, which yeah. makes him a good like. I don't I don't walk down the street and go, oh look, it's a Birdo esque character. Now I'll tell you, if you go into Amsterdam, that's true. definitely there are a lot of Birdos just in window shopping <laughs> sort of settings that are like, hey, come here, big boy. But they sound like <laughs> because they got that big face, like the big hole in their face, they go. <laughs> Because they can't actually make words. I really hope we cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't. Oh, no. <laughs> there's All nothing, right. There's nothing wrong with saying that there are people in Amsterdam that have whole faces. That's true. So, <laughs> Waluigi, though. <laughs> Why is Waluigi good? We still haven't broached that question. I, I, he's just memeable. Like, you yeah. see someone and yeah. you immediately think, Wow, it's Waluigi as opposed to any other video game character. Although, if I, I was know, walking down the street and, like, say, you pointed me out and said, Oh, hey, it's Waluigi. Then it wouldn't work because your figure isn't this same style. That is true. I'm quite small and rotund, and he's the opposite of all those things. Right. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm more of a Wario. <laughs> Uh, definitely, definitely on the Wario side of this whole argument. Um, so, what makes him good? He's memeable. Yeah. He's long. Mm -hmm. Just very long. Like, I'm sure that he could fit in a lot of small... Like... I'd say of 
<clears throat> of, the, of, of the characters thief. that, yes, he would make a good thief. He yeah. could fit it's very through, sneaky. He could probably like fit through some very small drainage pipes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, about? because like that's the main thing that uh, Mario's known for yeah. is sewage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And while Luigi's the king of like just pooping, slipping down, just there. poopy yeah. in and tubes. And I, I think that's probably his best trait is that he's really good at plumbing. Uh, that's like his the, so his, while his, his signature weapon in Smash. Whenever he finally makes his debut, is just a plunger. It's a plunger. <laughs> he has a big plunger, and it smells real bad. It smells so bad. Um, so maybe the smell is weaponized. <laughs> Every every character on screen looks at the <laughs> looks at the audience and goes P you for seventeen seconds, and he's free to just beat them over the head with. That's the right. He can do whatever. Do as he much wants damage. To. He can he can just bring those percentages way up there. That's why he's so cool. So that's why he should be a character. And then he puts Smash. on his sunglasses and goes wow. <laughs> that's exactly. Hey Patch, can you do that one more time? <laughs> Why is it blood curdling? <laughs> why is why is Waluigi having a death cry? I don't know. Why does Wario? What what if every Smash character when they went off screen, like whenever you like Falco, like like Wombo comboed someone? Falco punch. Yeah, if you like Falcon that? if you Falcon punch someone off the side of the map and then they go ah, like they like actually make death cries. Ah! Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, um, or if they all sound like the Wilhelm scream. Yes, which that, I can't do. No. Yeah, but still. Here, we're just gonna put it in post right here. That was it. Wow, I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we actually managed to do that with our own voices. That was really good. That good was... job, Michael. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I. Okay, so uh, the next part of that question and the final part that we're gonna answer here, um, why aren't they in Smash? I mm. think that he's just too OP. I really yeah. think that... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Beyond a doubt. Beyond a doubt. Like, his plunging power... They've already his developed... Stink. They've, they've actually already developed the code for him, mm. but they put him into the game and realized that once he's a part of the game, he'll actually be so OP mm-hmm. that you won't be able to play as anyone but Waluigi. That's true. He is, like, the be-all, end-all character of right. Smash characters. So, like, Mario, just gone. Just yeah. the face of Nintendo... It's, it's purple Waluigi. and long. Yes. Purple, long, and goes wah. Um, and <laughs> that should be the name of our next album. It's purple, long, long and, and goes, goes wah. wah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes... <laughs> one of the... <laughs> it's obviously a dubstep album. Yes, of it's course. Awesome, <laughs> of course, because oh, it goes wah, 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 Oh man, I think Waluigi is the coolest, but he's way too OP. <laughs> like, if you put him in Smash, I think every other character would cease to exist in the code. Yes. Like, they would just erase themselves, and right. Waluigi would be the only character that you can play. <laughs> and everyone would be really confused because there's a bunch of Waluigis that are just stinking up the screen. <laughs> and they look right into the camera for 17 seconds simultaneously wearing sunglasses and go, wow! <laughs> And if you time it just right, if you time it just right, and you, like, segment it, you can make them go, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> And then you get a disturbed song. <laughs> this has been, this has been another episode of Mike and Patch, Creamy Memes, Steamy Memes, Mondays, and it's not Monday, but whatever. Are you saying it's, the end of the episode right <laughs> we're, now? We're ending we are, the episode. We are one we're question. Not, we're not going to end this We're episode. even a question. Quarter of the way. When we come back from this commercial break, we'll be with you in a minute. We'll answer one more question. Uh, without further ado, here's my boy Big Mike with our commercial break. Hey, have you ever felt like you want to go do weird sex stuff? Well, there's this shop called Sunset Novelties, and don't go. The people in the thing next to us are knocking on the uh, walls. Well, they should get in room. <laughs> They should get a room. Uh, okay, so let's go to your question, Patch. Next question. Next question. Oh, my question. Okay. Wait, so are we? Are, are, we're doing two each, right? I only have one question, but I think it's substantial enough that it'll Okay, provide. carry it. Yeah. 
All right, so this comes from an anonymous user. Say that one more time. Anonymous. Anom oh, so the hacker website. Right. Yeah. Yes, okay, exactly. Cool. Wow, this has got some graphic yeah, loss so to it. We've actually been sponsored by them for about $2.75. Two wow. Uh, but this is the question that they have produced. Thank you, Anonymous. It is, what curse are penguins under? <laughs> <laughs> is there any context? Uh, there are two follow-up questions, if that provides a little bit of context. Okay. <laughs> Give me those, please. The first follow-up is by whom? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me another one, please. And the second is how break it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna even broach. Um. Okay. What is your gut response? My gut response is they can't fly. Oh. They're definitely cursed to just be land birds. Yes. And like they get made fun of. They get bullied so bad. Mm -hmm. Like all the other birds are like, "Hi, oh, I'm a flamingo, and I can stand on one leg. What can you do, penguin? Be fat." And <laughs> Like, yeah, they're emperor penguins, but, like, what are you the emperor of if you just if get made fun of all the time? Yeah, You're you the king of the climb. nerds, right? King of the birds. King of the birds. <laughs> king of the birds. That's the new hit sitcom by... Who's a director that we haven't heard from in a long Birdman? time? Birdman? Yes, Birdman. <laughs> oh, my favorite director who directed Birdman. Christopher Nolan. Birdman made the Birdman. auto... Birdman. Christopher Nolan. Am I allowed to say that? Is that royalty-free? Or is his name... Yes, Christopher you? Nolan's <laughs> name is royalty-free. Is That's it not copyrighted? How... I'm pretty sure he didn't... Co Actually, yes, he copyrighted his own name. That's true. Um, it is definitely one of his crazy good screenplays, uh, his, is his life. Mm -hmm. uh, he wrote his autobiography and is now living it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but... Um, to answer that question, uh, it is the absence of flight, the ability to fly, the presence of wings, uh, okay. especially for the fact that like they're one of the most uncool birds. Like they're definitely mm -hmm. sweet. They're mm -hmm. definitely sweet. They yeah. like take care of their kids. They're good dads and moms. Very nice. Um, and they really just love to have a good time and surf, but they still can't fly. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you who did it. It's that weird demon thing from The Black Cauldron. You're so right. Yeah. It's definitely that weird spiky skeleton thing whose name escapes me. Yes. Uh, and I think that the <clears throat> ability to fly went into The Black Cauldron. Hmm. And how do we break it? I'm going to leave that one to you. How do we break this, this curse? Uh, well... If I had to provide an answer, yeah. it would go something along the lines of jet suits for penguin I birds. was thinking jetpacks. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm glad we're on the same kind of Tim Burton-esque. Well, because if they... I mean, they're already great swimmers. Right, so of they, course. They, it's not like they're immobile. Right. You know? But if you really wanted to help penguins out... Yeah. And this is what all the environmentalists are going to be talking about... Morgan Freeman, from now. specifically. Yes, Morgan Freeman. I'm talking about, like, P PETA, mm -hmm. Autopsy, all those groups. They're, yeah. g they're going to be talking about it. And here's, here's what I'm saying. And correct me if you think I'm wrong. Uh -huh. But jet suits for penguins... Oh, this is an idea that yeah. people can get on board with. Definitely. Because they need, they, like you said, it, you said it yourself, they need the ability to fly. I think that there are less pressing things that people are focusing on right now, like, I don't know, global warming. Yeah. I think we need to give a global warning mm. in that if penguins can't fly, there will be a social revolt. There will be. There will be an uprising. The proletariat will take back what is theirs, and that is the ability to fly. <laughs> The, the the proletariat will come out of the Arctic and they will take what they what what they so rightfully needed and that is to fly. Um, sorry, I get that got a little heated. They got a little heated. Okay, but back to the question: How do we break it? Mm. Uh, jet suits is a great one. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the what natural... about hot air balloons? Oh, 
Are you saying individual balloons for each penguin? Yeah. Okay, so they live in... I think they're called pods. I don't know. Maybe it's flocks. It can't be flocks because they don't fly. What if you just make their entire island one giant, you know, because they live on icebergs. Are you saying lift up Antarctica? Yes. On, like, the continent? Yeah, so you lift it high enough into the sky so that the ice freezes, and then it's, you know, people don't complain about the ice caps melting anymore because, because they're gone th- well they're aerial they're aerial they're aerial ice caps they're they're, <laughs> they're airborne ice caps yes with um, penguins thousands of penguins and oh. the way in which they fly is they jump and then they orbit the earth and <laughs> Ayn Rand is rolling in her grave thinking about the no gods, no men, only airborne penguins on Antarctica with thousands and thousands of air balloons. Wait, how's it going to be a hot air balloon in Antarctica? Because it's not hot. Well, the scientists can figure that no, out. No, but I don't think that we're thinking this through. Okay. I think we are. Because temperature-wise... I, I don't see public figures of today talking about penguin rights. I agree. I think that penguin rights are definitely looked over. We are providing I, better answers than they are, so... Ah, uh, yes. Well, okay, when the question's not posed, I think any answer put forward... It's kind of like when... when uh, People in, like, 18-whatever were like, hey, what's this weird lightning thing that goes across the sky? And Thomas Edison was like, hey, how about I shoot it directly into someone's veins? And then, and, and then Tesla came in a little later and was like, I don't know about that. Uh, Edison was popular because he was the first. Doesn't mean he's the best. Hey, well, we're going to be the best and the first. The best and the, We'll be best for a little bit. And then someone will come along with cold air balloons. No, 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 no. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, and that will be the new mode of transportation, not just for man. I think it's called helium, and the Hindenburg already proved them wrong. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, so. that was a conspiracy that was created by uh, penguins? By seals. Oh, seals. <laughs> <laughs> Those big sausage boys. Those big, weird, wet dogs. <laughs> Those big, weird, wet, wet sea dogs um, that are just trying to foil penguin rights. They're just sausage, sausage links. <laughs> 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 Are you saying the sausage industry is propped up by Big Seal? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> All they want is that penguin meat. No, but I'm what serious. No, no. Okay, I, I completely changed my answer from earlier mm. in who was responsible. It's definitely seals. Mm. Definitely seals. Yeah. Seals definitely took away the ability for penguins to fly. That's true. And maybe they developed surfboards mm. in order to counteract that. Mm-hmm. Because, like... What's a seal do best, besides being big and dumb? Uh, eat stuff. Okay, that. But also <laughs> swim. And, like, how do you even swim faster than a penguin? Be a seal. Be on a surfboard. Oh, that's guy. true. First, you're cool. Second, yes. you go real fast. And we already discussed about how penguins just aren't cool. Yeah, so, like, they, they immediately... Besides physically. Well, yeah, physically they are very cold. Temperature all the time. wise, temperature wise, they yeah. are very cold all the time. And especially if we take them into outer space. Yeah, with hot air balloons. Right. Yeah, because there is no like thermodynamics that like completely negate that answer. We're just gonna keep rolling with it. What if SpaceX is like, hey, let's take some penguins to the moon? I, I think we already did that. Like, uh, it just hasn't been publicized yet because okay. of Big Seal. Uh, the the seal news network yeah seal and end mm. uh, yeah mm-hmm. yeah um, are You're you dead. allowed to say seal and end because it's not it's close to the it's big close one. enough but I don't think it's I think it's a parody if yeah I don't know as long as it's parody I, I think mean, it's okay with fair use and all yeah okay so I think that we've sufficiently tackled the issue of the day in the, <clears throat> what's the biggest flaw definitely can't fly You're right definitely also can't be cool. Unless... Well, it's not a flaw, it's a curse. Curse, 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 yeah. curse, right. Uh, because we're not trying to, like, like, completely change penguins altogether and, like, alter them. Because that's not our place. We can't play God here. Uh, so that we definitely just either give them jetpack suits. Right. Jet suits. Uh, first we go to... Government-funded jet suits. Ooh, that's going to be a tough sell. Yeah. I think we can sell it if, like, we tell whoever the president is at the time, hey, look... You can totally do this. And also, Antarctica has oil. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Kanye yeah. will be on board. Kanye will be on board. On Kanye, surfboard. Uh, Vice President uh, Chester Cheeto. 
Yes. Um, uh, the oh, the new Supreme Court appointee who is just Oprah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just Oprah, and everyone's like, never been a judge, and then everyone else is like, but she's Oprah. But she's Oprah. But she's Oprah, and she got it. But she's Oprah. She's okra. I love that kind of oatmeal. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think that we have we have hit this subject pretty well. So we're gonna we're gonna take it to the commercial zone. Uh, take it uh, take it away, Patch. Uh, who are we sponsored by? Uh, if you it's it, Jones at barbecue and foot massage. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. We're sponsored by. And this is uh, this is an actual place in somewhere in the outskirts of the misery, called Zerna's Meats and Auto. They do auto repairs and sell you dead animals. So, get get them get them fresh, get them good, but also buy a car so that you can transport it home. <laughs> There's nothing more bastardized than to sell roadkill and cars. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> did you know that for a while it was legal to eat roadkill? Like, to, to keep what, what, So, this guy put a video on YouTube. And oh, it's because we just, can't say it. Right. Yeah. And it's him, it's him explaining how to make a bumper that's invincible so that you can just kill deer instead of actually hunting them. And then you just throw it in, you throw it in the back of the truck. And eat it for dinner. <laughs> I'm imagining the it, first time. His name was Zerna. Is that defamation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining the first time. <laughs> okay, so the first time this shop was set up, they like they like hit something on the road, and they, they were like, they, like they, 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 their their bumper is completely destroyed. Right. And they're standing in front of their car, and they're like, oh. huh. I see an opportunity. <laughs> I see a business model. I see a business model. <laughs> let's get let's get all of our boys together, make this shed, and sell this dead rat. And like nineteen people came to go and buy right, that rat. Right. Uh, and then they all ate it in a weird like satanic ceremony. Right. And it was a yeah. big thing. Of course. Of course. Uh, well, thank you for the sponsor, Zerna. Yeah, they're providing our next meals for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to eat that. Food. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Do we want to? Do we want to read one more and then get on out of here? Yeah. Let's do. Let's, let's do let's one do, of your questions. Let's do a lightning round okay. of this question. And I, if we can do it in a lightning round, mm-hmm. that would be uh, interesting. Because mm-hmm. I don't know how we're gonna broach this whole thing. Uh, is watching just smelling, but with your light holes? I'm physically uncomfortable right now. This question is. Uh, but is watching just smelling, but with your light holes? I'm going to go ahead and say... No, because no? your okay. eyes aren't holes. Oh, they are. They are. They're windows to the soul. And a window is just a hole to the outside, which is another dimension. A hole with glass in between? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's a hole with glass in between, just okay. like my heart. Okay. And my, and, uh, so, yeah, with... With light holes, and is watching just smelling? Um, actually, Rugrats, mm. you know, the movie. No. Well, it was a show. Okay. Yeah, and then it became a movie mm-hmm. where Reptar, like, r- like just wrecked Paris. Mm. Uh, they had smell-o-vision. Mm. Or, like, scratch-and-sniff yeah. cards that you got, like, as you came into the theater. Hmm. So I think they broached, like, they got that. Yes. Definitely. They understood the sixth sense. Yeah, the sixth the sixth stinkiest sense. Which is smell. Yeah. 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 Actually, that's what um, that M. Night Shyamalan movie is about. Yeah. It's just like that little boy, he doesn't see dead people. He just smells Bruce Willis. Because mm-hmm. he's just always kind of musky. Mm-hmm. Like he's always kind of kind of moist. Hmm. Um, he's just like, how would you even describe Bruce Willis's smell? Like, it's always kind of... I'd say it's about, like, what your laundry smells like when you leave it in the washing machine too long. Okay. For, like, hours after it's been washed. But so it's, like, it's an enjoyable of... sweetness to it. Yeah. 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 It's, like, it's clean, but it's also kind of been sitting there a while. It's definitely you know? been sitting there a while. It's... Like the Die Hard franchise. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, <laughs> and if you if you walked by somebody who wasn't Bruce Willis that smelled like that, you'd be like, ooh, oof, ah, uh, I don't know if I can if I can take that smell. But if it's Bruce Willis, right, that you see with that smell, then maybe it's worth with your eye holes, right. with yeah. your light holes, uh, then you know it's fine because like you you combine those things. Uh huh. And Bruce Willis just has like this aura to him, like stink lines, right? Yeah, yeah. like that Peanuts character. Yeah, like like uh, uh, what is his name? I don't Pig even Pigpen. Pigpen. <laughs> yeah, actually, I would love to see a live action Peanuts <laughs> where Bruce with Willis, Bruce Willis plays Pigpen, Pig and every other actor is a child actor. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Bruce Willis. Is... So it's just him and the Sixth Sense all over again. <laughs> He's just very stinky. This <laughs> is <laughs> just, just really stinky in this new weird Peanuts movie. And he's not dead, I guess. <laughs> oh, do not, do not listen to this podcast if you haven't seen the movie because I just spoiled the whole thing. I oh, guess. the Peanuts movie. Oh, they were dead the whole time and the football <laughs> no. wasn't real. No. No. Oh no. Oh, okay. So even if Charlie Brown, even if Lucy hadn't pulled the football away, Charlie Brown still wouldn't have been able to kick it because that's, it didn't exist. That's right. It's a tree of life sort of situation where like Charlie Brown in every universe has kicked that football except for the one that we experience. Mm. Uh, and actually in every universe, Charlie Brown is already dead. He's been dead the whole time. Actually, it was a dream. Mm. And then at the end of the film, he wakes up and hits his alarm clock. Thank you for listening to Saucy... Uh, what the f*** is this show called? <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Steamy Mimi Monday show with Patch and Michael. That's me. And we're going to premiere every Monday. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> if you like this. If we're not just blubbering morons. <laughs> which we are. But we'd love to be on the air and blubber for you all. So yes. uh, thank you for listening. And uh, if you if you want to hear more, we're probably going to be uploading these to SoundCloud and other listening apps. Make sure you smash that mother like button. Oh, I'm going to add a really good sensor sound in there. Thank and, you. And just smash the out of all that <laughs> and uh, uh, tell your mom that she's got some crazy stink lines. Thanks everyone. Thanks.